This video will show you how to use bus.com.ua, which is the Ukrainian bus route website. So, once again, that address is bus.com.ua. This will give you schedules, prices, and other information about bus routes in Ukraine. It's a very, very useful website. So, it looks like a lot of information at first. It can be a little bit intimidating when you first get here. The only part you really need to pay attention to is right here. This section right here in the top left corner of the screen. This is the search feature of the site. You'll type in the names of your towns here. You'll type in the town from in this box. So where you want to leave from and where you want to go to. You can use English um, to type in the boxes or Russian or Ukrainian. Um, I'll use English today. So let's say you want to go from Lugansk, uh, the Oblast Center, to your town. In my case, my town was Belovodsk. You click that. Ot do. And up here you'll see, this is where you can change it. And it, you'll see it's converted it into Ukrainian for us. So Lugansk is correct. This is where it'll actually show the towns. A lot of Ukrainian websites work like this, where there's one field to type, and there's another field where it shows you the options that you can choose based on what it's found from what you've typed. It's a little bit confusing, but just know that here is where you edit what, you, what you're searching for. This is where you actually select what you're searching for. So let's see if we can find Bilovotsk. And here we go. It's important to know the name of your town in both uh, Ukrainian and Russian, as we'll see in a second. If you don't see the town in your pop-up list here, you'll change it up here and click this button, and that will change the options you see down here. Also, make sure that you're, you are looking at your town. There can be different spellings, uh, depending on whether it's Russian or Ukrainian. Make sure you're headed to the right town, because there's lots of towns that have similar names. Once you're satisfied that you found the right places, so from, to, you'll click option two here. This will bring up a list of all the buses that run from, in this case, Luhansk to Belovotsk. And you'll see it has now converted it to Russian. Um, that's just one of the little quirks of this site. This is where it leaves from, so from Lugansk, Luhansk at this time, so this is when it departs, to Belovodsk, and it arrives at these times. The departure times are fairly accurate. One important thing here is you'll notice there's two different stations, Luhansk Avtovokzal and Luhansk Avtostancia 3. These are two different stations. So these later times do not leave from the main station. This is just a sort of point on the road that the buses stop. So make sure that you're looking at the right station. If it just says Oftovogzal AV, or if it just says Oftostancia or Oftostancia 1, that's probably the main station. So that's the one you want to look for. So if it says AB or AC1, that will be the main station. That's most likely the station you'll be leaving from. So make sure you're looking at the right station. Because you don't want to come to the main station, like at, say at 4.50, and have missed your bus that actually left at 4.30. That would be bad. So we'll go down here. You click this here to see the routes. Buses in Ukraine generally work by having the first place it leaves from on the bus and showing the last place it goes to. So when you're actually trying to look for your bus at the station, it will most likely say Luhansk Malove in this case. So it'll say the first place and it'll say the last place. However, just because your town was on that route once does not mean your town will always be on that route. So it's, I would say almost always ask the bus driver, does it go to your town? Do your town name. In this case, Do Belovodske. Here we can see all the different towns that it stops in along the way. It also tells you the price. One caveat with that is if you're going, say, between uh, Shiroki and Belovodsk, it will not tell you the cost for that. You'll have to figure that out on your own or ask the bus driver or ask the person behind the ticket counter. This also tells you which days it runs. 
a word of advice if you don't see it on this that means that that bus is not running that day most likely so this does change from day to day so i would recommend that you check to make sure that your bus is running on the day you plan to travel if you have not bought your ticket in advance because it it does update day to day so like if you check this on sunday you would see some more options there's a few more buses that run later at night on sunday you want to be early for your bus i'd say like 10 15 minutes early for a bus between towns 20 30 minutes early if it's a bus between cities this will also help you get a seat almost all buses you can have you can stand on them with a few exceptions so if there's no seats left the ticket people will not sell you a ticket if there's no seats left but don't panic the bus driver will usually let you stand in the aisle no matter how far the bus is going so that's part of the wonderful world of mashutka surfing let's review the site is bus.com.ua you want to look at the top part right here you type in the name of your town that you want to leave from in this case Kiev type in the name of the town that you want to go to and you click Otto. Make sure you've got the right towns here. Know your spellings in both Russian and Ukrainian. Um, if they're wrong, edit these fields here. Once they're right, click two. And you can see the towns. Remember, we've got the number of the bus. Although, again, ask your bus driver to make sure it's the right bus. Just because it's the right number doesn't necessarily mean it's the right bus. Your station, time you leave, where you're going to, what time it arrives there. I uh, hope this has been useful. Happy travels and good luck. So, dos vidanya y shasliva.